Sussex Skipper Ed Joyce, um, three tough days, I guess. What's your reflections on, on the performance in the three days? Um, I thought we were outplayed, for sure. Um, I thought 80 runs was probably a fair reflection of the play. Um, we, I thought we had the best of conditions as well. I thought we were right to ball first on the first day, and, and it was really probably a 180-200 wicket um, in the first innings, and they got 280. Um, I think it was a combination of, of obviously Ajmal getting injured, which was which was a bit of a shocker for us because obviously bowling well and, and and he's been our top bowler for the first couple of games. And I thought Ollie Robinson and Mags in particularly um, um, filled in for him quite well. But uh, obviously, obviously had one of, uh, an off game, and I thought that that caused cost us a little bit. Obviously, 60 odd extras in the first innings cost us a lot as well. So we all know how important first innings runs are, especially on wickets wickets like that. It was a little bit of a naughty wicket. Um, not quite what we were hoping for, I'll be honest with you. So you know, hopefully the next wicket has just got a bit of pace in it, like um, like uh, possibly some of the wickets we had last year. But it, it was possibly a few naughty balls in there for too many, really, for, for a good four-day pitch. But saying that, it was the game went three full days, and I think it was probably entertaining viewing for the fans. Mark Robinson said on the first day that he felt it was probably 60 runs too many, and indeed the winning margin 79. He's proved pretty much right. Yeah, as I said, was, I completely agree with that. Um, I'd say it was probably 200 was probably par in the, in the first innings, and I thought we were, we were po possibly a wicket or two down more overnight than, than than we should have been. I didn't think they bowled particularly well, and, and we and we gifted them a few wickets and obviously had a few freak dismissals in the in the in the game as well, which sometimes happens on on wickets like that where. There was a lot of naughty balls, and I think people obviously felt like they had to hit out, or there was a ball with their names on it. So, yeah, I, I, I can't fault that. I thought, as I said, first innings runs are huge, uh, and that deficit of 70 or 80 in the first innings was massive. How difficult is it just to juggle three seamers around when Ajmal is goes off injured? Um, it's not too as long as all three of them are sort of hitting the straps. Um, as I said, obviously, obviously, he's a young bowler who, who's got huge potential. He just had an off game, and and and, and these things happen. So it was it was difficult because we, we really only felt two lads could, could hold, and obviously we we're not playing a spinner. You wouldn't play a spinner on that wicket. So um, you know, it's, uh, it was difficult enough, but these things happen. As I said, um, Millsy, the same thing happened with Millsy in, in the previous game, um, sorry, two games ago. So so these things happen, and you just got to get on with it. For all of that. Terrific performances, you said by Steve McLaughlin and, and Ollie Robinson again. Only his second match in the championship. You know, eight, eight wickets in the match. Yeah, he's d he's played two games for us now, and I think he's been our man of the match in both of those games. Um, he doesn't deserve to be on the losing side in either of those. So it's you know I feel for him a little bit because he probably feels like we won our first two, and then he's played two and we've lost two. But he's played really really well, and obviously he's, looks like a fantastic signing for us. So just as well we did sign him really because um, we were down a few bowlers now. So. Yeah, that's that's one of those things. You know, I think we've 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 done well with our signings in the last few years in general, and I think he he, he looks like being another one. So <coughs> we go into a period of 2020 cricket now, and obviously a few bowlers down, but um, oh, he might play a part in that now. So uh, you know, it's an exciting period to go into. One thing I would say about winning two and losing two, I'd rather do that than, than draw three and, and lose one. You know what I mean? So we have put ourselves in a, in a position to win all four games. So we did speak about that. Before prior to the season and um, really the only thing I'm interested in is trying to win trophies at this stage of my career. I know Luke feels the same obviously about 2020 and we'd rather we'd rather we were uh, putting ourselves in a position to win and, and then losing rather than you know fighting it out on boring slow pitches. So as I said the pitch wasn't exactly what we wanted but we, we much prefer a result wicket than a, than a flat pancake. It does seem to be very much the approach in that second innings, you know, from Matt Machen right through the order, Ben Brown came out and you know Sussex were going to have a go at those ones, they weren't going to die wondering. Well, I think you had to do that on that pitch. You know, if it would have been a flatter pitch, we'd have we'd have fancied chasing 280 any t any day. You know, we've done that a lot of lot of times here, chasing in the last innings, and I think you can do it. But it's just that wicket didn't deter or didn't uh, get any better. Like sometimes they do here. Sometimes the o overheads make a big difference as well. And I think as that's why I said we thought we got the best of the conditions because today was obviously a sunny day when we went out to bat, and and, and uh, that, that suited us. But. Um, you know they have a high-class attack. I think uh, Harris didn't even bowl that well in this game, and and uh, still there Roman Jones and Finn to 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 to, to bowl. And, and I thought Neil Dexter did, did a really good job today. Obviously, nipping out four wickets as well. So um, I, you know, I take my hat off to them. They're they're going to be a dangerous side because they because uh, they've got lots of guys who can take wickets, and, and they'll not struggle to get 20 wickets this year. Talk about some of the positives though. You spoke about Ollie Robinson, return of Mike Yardy as well. Yeah, Mike played fantastically well. He missed the previous two games, and then to come into this game, I know he was desperate to get runs and and a difficult wicket to come in as well and play on. Um, and and I thought he played outstandingly well in the second innings. You always need a bit of luck on a wicket like that, but 
you know, your eyes back to his best would be very, very handy at this stage. And, and obviously his catching at second slip was outstanding as well. I think our catching in general actually has been very, very good. And, and if we can keep doing that and keep, keep some bowlers in the park, I think we'll, 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 we'll keep putting ourselves in, in with a chance to win games. You mentioned about the wicket, Ed. I mean, it's difficult because trying to lay the wickets here, getting, getting good cricket and, uh, uh, you know, the grounds and packs get some criticism. Was the wicket that bad? I thought it was a poor wicket, I'll be honest with you. Um, I, I, you know, it's any, any wicket that bounces off a length like that as consistently as it, as, as it did is a poor wicket. So I, well, I'm not going to hide, hide away from that. But we have asked Andy for pace in the wickets. And, you know, sometimes he's going to get it wrong and sometimes his preparation isn't going to be ideal because the weather hasn't been very good. So I understand his job is very difficult as well. And like, any, like anyone, he can make mistakes. Cricketers can make mistakes. Everyone can make mistakes. So that's, that's life. Um, you know, I think we... We played on a few pitches. I, I think in the next game might be in the Lancashire wicket from last year, which was just a great wicket. It was fast and bouncy, and that's basically what we want. We want pace in the wicket. That's that's what we've asked for, and so he can get things wrong as, as well as anyone else. And you know, we completely back him. I think Andy's a great guy, and he's got only our best interests at heart. And, and uh, I'm sure he'll, he'll he'll create it as best a wicket as he can for the next game. Any suggestion at all from the umpires about inspectors looking at the pitch or anything like that? Ed? I think it's actually changed now. I, don't, I think they. I think it's a. There's no pitch liaison guys anymore, so I don't know how that works. Um, mm. But I would expect there'd be some issues with it. I'll be honest with you. And um, but, you know, at this stage of the year, it is hard to get the wickets exactly the way you want them. And I think, as I said, everyone would prefer a pace in the wickets. So they know what we're trying to do here. We're certainly not trying to create nasty, nasty wickets, which perhaps that one was a, a little bit erring on the side of quarter of the season gone now in the championship how, how do you assess where Sussex are as I said I, I we've put ourselves in a position to win all four games one two lost two that's I think that's a fair reflection of how, how we've played really I mean we could easily have lost that Worcester game and played really well on the last day Hampshire even were in a good position at one stage to chase down those runs and we won the game and then you know we sh probably should have beaten Durham up there from the position we were in and, and here I thought we blessed the conditions and got 20 wickets for you know, for around 500, which you'd expect to win most of those games. So um, we're just going to try and win as many games as we can, see where we end up at the end of the season. Um, and you know, I'd, I'd assess us as being probably par for the course, really. Not a question. You've had a lot of cricket recently over to Ireland for the match against England. Do you get a bit of a breather now, Ed? Or are you looking to play in the T20s? I'm looking to play. I'm certainly available. I'm not sure if I'm going to be picked or not. I'll be honest with you. But um, you know, Luke's got his very, very, um, very strong views about how he wants to go about the game and who he wants to play. And I think that's brilliant. He's really embraced that role of 2020 captain. I think he's he's got a lot of energy from it, which is which is why he's doing the role. And I think he'll be really, really good at it. And, um, I think I might be struggling, if I'm being honest, but uh, hopefully I'm around the team and, and uh, um, you know, I'll certainly be ready if, if, uh, if there's a lack of form or someone else doesn't perform. Tremendous. Thank you for joining us.